With their overstuffed backpacks and high energy, students pile onto the big yellow bus, snow, rain or shine, twice a day, five days a week, by far our most precious cargo. The most important thing is safety. On the road, Fox 17 cameras caught driver after driver blowing past the stop school bus, breaking the law and putting children in danger. you got to drive in this day and age defensively. Everybody is in such a hurry that th there's different all kinds of scenarios that happens. Forest Hills District Supervisor of Transportation Daryl Hofstra says they see drivers on average violating the school bus laws two times a week. People going around, um, the ones that are really frustrating uh, is the ones that don't even slow down or stop at all. He says reasons range from distracted driving to just not knowing the rules. What are the issues? I think people not understanding what to do. Think of the bus as its own mobile traffic unit. When the yellow lights are on, that means caution. Prepare to stop, just like a traffic yellow. If red lights are flashing and the stop sign is out, that means stop. No closer than 20 feet from the bus. And on multi-lane roads with no divider or median, that goes for all drivers. People think on the other side of the street maybe they don't have to stop. Um, if there is no physical barrier between the opposing traffic lanes, then Anytime those red lights come on, traffic has to stop. But not everyone does. During a Fox 17 investigation, we place our cameras on the side of school buses to capture multiple angles. What our cameras found shocked even us. Watch this. The bus is stopped. And the stop sign is clearly out. Students are getting off. The bus driver even honks, but a car speeds past anyway. Seconds later, a second, followed by a third vehicle. The car in the closest lane did the right thing and makes a clear stop. When it comes to violators, bus drivers don't hesitate to write them up. person that, a car that ran my reds and passed me in the center turn lane, so there's no way they couldn't have seen my reds and my stop sign that was out. In 2012, 27 complaints were filed with the Kent County Sheriff's Department by Forest Hills bus drivers. One driver reported, I was stopped with reds activated, children were loading, and a black Camry ran through my reds. Another says a woman going west on Cascade went around the bus in the left turn lane talking on a cell phone. I blew the horn and she just kept going. Another report states, the driver of the vehicle passed my red on the right side just before kids were to exit extremely dangerous. This happens all the time in both directions. Please help, writes another. I think there has been an uptick and, and I think that um, that's true nationally. And district leaders say many violations go unreported because nobody caught the license plate, making it difficult for police to enforce the laws. The hope is with more awareness, there will be fewer violations and a safer trip to and from school for millions of students. Bye guys. When it comes to penalties, violating a school bus law is similar to violating any traffic law. It can come with a civil infraction, a ticket with fines, or if there's an accident, possibly criminal charges. Now, some districts throughout the country are moving towards new camera technology, cameras on the side of the bus that can actually capture a picture of the violator, their license plate, but it comes at a cost, 300 to $400 each, not in most districts' budgets. In Grand Rapids, Lindsay Kuss. Fox 17 News.